Welcome back to Read It Out with Miss Tamar. Today's story is Anansi and His Children, retold by Bonnie Dobkin and illustrated by Mayura Saikia. All right, Anansi and His Children. Here's Anansi and here's all of his children. And it looks like they're sitting on a rock and facing the moon. I wonder why they're looking at the moon. And he's here with all his children. I wonder how many children he has. Let's count and find out. One, two, three, four, five, six. He has six children. Let's see what happens with the Nazi and his children. Far, far away in the land of the Ashanti, there once lived a most marvelous creature. His name was Anansi, and he was a spider. Some said Anansi was wise. After all, he had lived a long time, and he was great friends with Nayim, the god of all things. Some said Anansi was clever. After all, he could weave marvelous webs and spin magical stories. Some said Anansi was a mischief maker. After all, he loved to play tricks on both enemies and friends, and sometimes on his own family. The truth was, Anansi was all of these things. He was wise and he was clever and he was a mischief maker. But Anansi was also a father and he had six children whom he loved very much. Each had a name that described a special talent. So each child was good at doing something. The first child was called See Trouble because that's what he could do. He could see trouble. The second child was Road Builder. She could build paths through and to anything. The third child was River Drinker. He could drain a river down to its rocky bottom. The fourth child was Game Skinner. No matter what animal he fought, he won. The fifth child was Stone Thrower. She could pick up a stone, no matter how large, then throw it far and high. And the sixth child was called Cushion because he was very, very soft. One day, Anansi found a strange glowing orb in the forest. How beautiful, he said. I will give it to one of my children, but who? He thought and thought. I know, said clever Anansi, I will go far away and my children will think I'm lost. Whoever loves me most will come to find me and that child will receive the orb. So here's the orb and he wants to give it to one of his children. So Anansi set off, but before he had gone far, wind came rushing across the plains. He picked Anansi up and spun him through the air with all his eight legs twirling. Ho, ho, Anansi said wind. It's time somebody played a trick on you. Wind took Anansi across the plains through a forest and over a mountain. Then he dropped Anansi by the side of a river. Goodbye, Anansi, laughed Wind. Have a nice walk home. <laughs> but Anansi was very dizzy from the spinning and twirling. Before he knew it, he tumbled into the river. Oh no, said Anansi, rowing with all his legs to get back to shore. But before he could reach land, a big fish saw him wriggling, swam up and swallowed him. Oh no. Back at home, Sea Trouble saw what had happened. Father is in trouble, he cried. We must go and save him. Road Builder hopped into action. She spun a path across the plains, through the forest, over the mountain, and to the river. Now River Drinker went to work, draining the water. Soon the fish was flopping on the rocky bottom. Next, Game Skinner split the fish wide open. Out popped Anansi. My wonderful children, he cried. But before he could hug them with any of his eight legs, a falcon swooped down from the sky. Not again, cried Anansi, as he was carried into the air. Now it was Stone Thrower's turn. 
she snatched up a heavy stone and threw it with all her might. The stone hit the bird who screeched and squawked and dropped Anansi. Cushion scrambled underneath to protect his father from the fall. What a happy tangle there was as Anansi hugged his children with all his eight legs. But then Anansi realized he had a problem. Whom would he give the orb to? He called out to Nayam, the god of all things. Help me, Nayam. Whom shall I choose after all? Sea Trouble saw my danger and called for help. Road Builder brought my children to me. River Drinker drained the river that hid me. Game Skinner opened the fish's mouth that swallowed me. Stone Thrower saved me from the bird's claws. And Cushion caught me when I fell. What is he going to do? Waz Naam answered, then all your children deserve the treasure. Give the orb to me. I will place it in the sky for all of them to enjoy. So here he is placing the moon in the sky. And the moon is still there to this very day. ends our story boys and girls i hope you enjoyed it i know i did we'll see you next time bye bye